y'all. Make sure you like and dislike. Make sure you leave them comments. And don't be a hater. If you feel my videos, hit the subscribe button. Alright, let's talk about some real shit in this video. Now, I need you guys to get your popcorn, get your weed, get your beer, get your snacks, whatever you need to kick back and relax. Okay? And that rhymes too. Because we can here watch a good press conference. You guys know me. I score the press conference, okay? I scored these motherfucking press conference. So with that being said, let's really get into it. Who won the press conference, huh? Another thing is this. George Groves is a very good shit talker. This man was out trashing Carl Frotch. Ain't nobody out trash talks Carl Frotch other than George Groves. And gave Carl Frotch one of his toughest fights. To this day, especially if we're talking about being hurt and going down to the campus. Now, Chris Eubank is a good trash talker as well, but if you ask me, I thought Billy Joe Sanders was getting the, the best of him when it comes down to trash talking. But when it comes down to trash talking, George Groves is on the same level with Billy Joe Sanders. So, you guys, let's watch this press conference. And let's determine who really won this shit. Because this is my first time watching it. So I told myself, I am going to watch this for the first time with the people. And we're going to score this bitch, okay? You guys have to understand, I don't got nobody. If you ask me, George Groves might be the underdog when it comes down to this fight. But, but he's for sure the favorite when it comes down to the trash talking. So right now, I already have him the favorite. So which means George Groves has to shock the world when it comes down to the talking aspect of the game. You guys, the full link to this video will be in the description box and the comment section. If you're already here, let's continue. Yeah, I mean, the, the hype behind this fight um, will be huge, you know. Um, I hope that the build-up justifies the effects we've got so far, and I hope the fight in the end does the same as well. Because um, on paper, this is probably going to build as a 50-50, maybe even uh, Eubank Jr. Uh, being a, a favourite. Well, he's, definitely, um, he's definitely the favourite. I don't really understand that. I think um, the... Uh, the form, you know, the history, um, the experience, the ability, all lie in my favour. Um, I'm looking forward to a, a big night. Um, but it's the semi-finals of, of a tournament. So Motherfucking no. So it's just a, a, another step, another fight along the way. Um, we're, already, we're already training for it. We've got the day, we're looking forward to it. And um, we're in a fantastic place and we, uh, we can't wait to meet um, Junior wraps his own hands, I believe, stuff like that, you know, um, he maybe puts on the facade that he can do it all himself, um, okay. he is a sort of a one-man band, but Okay, already, okay, I'm not gonna front, y'all, I'm gonna already give Eubank a point, maybe half a point, because he is being rude but in a way that I like a person to be rude. You dig? Like uh fucking um George Groves is basically saying uh, he think he could do it by himself. He don't need a trainer. He don't need anything else. You know, he 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 it um uh, fucking um uh, he don't even need his dad. He don't need anything. You know, he could do it he could um uh, hand wrap himself. You know, he don't need a fucking cut man. You know, this is what George Groves is basically saying in a sarcastic slash true way. And George Groves, in his response to that, he says, I can. Like, in a, in a cocky way. So I'm going to give Chris Eubank, not George Groves, Chris Eubank. I'm going to give Chris Eubank half a point for that. Bam. I just like the sneaky sarcasm. Slash realism. It's not, it is very difficult doing stuff on your own. We'll see if he, if he, if he stays uh, like that or if he starts to conform and, and change and adapt and... Uh, Again, you guys, I give points for three things. Humor, 
if you said something that was funny. Number two, if you said something that was true. You know, that's just, you know, that's just real shit. And number three, if you said something that it looked that it's just obvious as hell that it got up under the other opponent's skin, whether how they react, etc. Another thing is too, I get points for. At the stare down towards the end, who looks scared? And plus they also talk more trash during the stare down sometimes. So that's basically like the four quarter clutch when it comes down to my scoring. Now let's keep this train rolling. You know, make 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 changes, which I, I'm sure we will and, and certainly will have to do. If he does, then it makes it even easier for me. But um, he, he will, which is just a, a credit. To so me. he said, if listen to this, I'm giving George Groves a point for that because he's looking past. I hope he's not, but he's the way he said that was so clever. He said, um, if you do not, I'm giving George Groves a point. Bam, a four point two. Boom. You guys can see. He said, he told, he told Chris Eubank, he said, if he don't give him any type of help, he's just going to make it even easier for me. You guys, people need trainers. People need help. Not, of course, in the ring, you're the one doing the punching, but I get what George Groves is trying to say. He think he he's not going to need any assistance from me. He better look again. George Groves said, it's going to make the fight even easier, which he's basically saying, the fight is already easy, but if he don't get his ass and get some assistance, it's going to be even easier. I love the way Groves said that. One, one to half a point, George Groves is up. It's funny to know that uh, obviously this is his first real fight, big fight, definitely a super middleweight. Facts. Um, he's uh, he's going to fall short in a lot of categories, a lot of, a lot of things, and um, Make me excited to have this fight. Uh, this is probably the, the biggest fight in terms of uh, profile, in terms of um, you know this tournament, the hype. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I rise to the occasion always. The bigger the fight, the better I perform. And um, you know, George seems to be uh, focused or hung up on what I'm going to do and you know, how I'm going to change and conform and all these things. Uh, you know, he really needs to worry about himself because you know, thinking about what I'm going to do isn't going to get in the I read a, I read a statement the other day. George said that uh, if he fights the same or if he boxes the same as he boxes against Jamie Cox in his last fight, then um, you know, he'll have no problem beating me. Um, you know, that statement started with an if. Uh, that means that there is, you know, a possibility of him not being able to do that. That's, that's a fact. Um, that's a fact right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give Chris Eubank a point for that. Um, because even though it's small, it's like a small jab, but a very hurtful one. Because he's basically rearranging and switching up George Grove's words with that if basically tell you guys it's a big if so the way he did that because we all know what george Groves is trying to say but george Groves could have said it in a better way and chris eubank capitalized off that i'm gonna get chris eubank a full point chris eubank is up let's keep trying rolling so i like how he switched up the big if part yeah. there, are, there are no ifs and buts when i'm concerned uh, it doesn't matter if if my game plan goes completely out of the window, I will find a way to stop George Groves. He's, you know, there's just no chance now that he's going to take this away from me. Um, I'm a man of my word. There's no chance in hell. I and love the confidence. You know, I like Junior's attitude. You know, I used to like him when he was my sparring partner. He used to pay him to come in. We used to do rounds and he wouldn't talk to anyone, which was, you know, I, I like that about him. He used to come in, put his, um, Put his Vaseline on in the corner, warm up, and give you good work. You know, it's exactly what I need at the time. Um, he's terrific for a soundbite. You know, he, he gives you those those short piece statements. He's those things work for him. It's made him, you know, insta famous. You know, but we'll, um, <laughs> he's cute. I don't know if y'all caught that, but George Girl, that was funny to me. <laughs> 
I don't give a fuck about that. It made him insta famous, you know. Okay, I'm gonna give him a half point for that. I wanna say full point, but you know, ain't nobody really catch that, but, but love one or hate one. Well, I'm quite sure you guys did. Insta famous is not really famous, okay? Insta famous, okay. He basically said, okay, if, you, if that's where you wanna go, insta famous is not like famous, famous. It's the difference between insta famous and regularly famous. This, this is different, you know, like I used to hear people talk about levels and it used to frustrate me a little bit at the start, you know, uh, in the start of your career and you're talking about levels, my mate James and guys used to use it a lot and I never really understood it, but sort of I, I have come full circle and, and I do understand that, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter how well you prepare or, you know, how many things go in your favour, that you, you, there's people you just can't beat and, um, so I'm sorry to say for Junior that he's uh, he's not good enough. You know, he doesn't have the pedigree. He doesn't have the ability. <laughs> you know what? Um, oh yeah, that's another thing, you guys. A person that can get you a point on my scoreboard is your trainer or your sibling. Okay, so being that that he has pops on the side, he can score Chris Eubank a point. And that goes for anybody that's on George Grove's corner, but he don't need any help. But if George Girls ain't got nobody, then I might eliminate Chris Eubank from the score from the scoring chances. But I'm gonna give George Girls another point right there. If you guys really listen, George Girls says something that I think will be slept on. Okay, George Girls is throwing sneaky jabs in there. Frustrating a little bit at the start, you know. Uh, the start Not only that, change. George Girls is looking unfazed by <laughs> like Chris Eubank. Maybe because he sparred with Chris Eubank on multiple occasions. At levels, my mate James and guys use it a lot, and I never really understood it. But sort of, I have come full circle, and I do understand that you know sometimes it doesn't matter how well you prepare or you know how many things go in your favor that you, you there's people you just can't beat. And um, so I'm sorry to say for Junior that he's uh, he's not good enough. You know, he doesn't have the pedigree, he doesn't have the ability. He, Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he's basically just saying that um he don't have good pedigree, he's not on that level. That's what he's insinuating. Watch this you guys. Levels my mate James and guys use it a lot and I never really understood it, but you know, she's so it seems work for him. It's made him, you know, insta famous, you know. But we'll um it's, 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 this is different, you know, like I used to hear people talk about levels and it used to frustrate me a little bit at the start, you know. Uh, I mean, George Groves just sound very poised to me. I'm just going to go ahead, instead of just giving him half a point for that insta-famous part, I'm just going to go ahead and give him a full point because he, he deserved a full point for the insta-famous part and he started going to ham. He sounds poised like he's talking to his fucking son, you guys. Okay? So I got George Groves up two to one basically by Chris Eubank is down by half a point. Let's see can his father come in here and get Chris Eubank a four point. Started your career and you talking about levels, my mate James and guys use it a lot and I never really understood it. But sort of I have come full circle and I do understand that, you know sometimes it doesn't matter how well you prepare or, you know, how many things go in your favour that you, you there's people you just can't beat. And um so I'm sorry to say for Junior that he's uh, he's not good enough. You know, he doesn't have the pedigree, he doesn't have the ability. He doesn't have the pedigree. Oh my goodness! I wasn't going to talk. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to talk, but you have to understand, he's talking to George Groves. George Groves is going to get you out of your core. George Groves is going to make you talk that trash. <laughs> I mean, look at the way he has come. Look at the way he's come up. Look at the ease in which he dispatched of uh, Papa Abraham. Look at the. Uh, uh, Arthur Abraham was solid. The extraordinary way in which he dismantled uh, the uh, the powerful Abner Yildirim. Nah. Pedigree. This is pedigree. Uh, I'd like to say mother. <laughs> Wasn't well, enough to get him a point. There's no combination puncher. He doesn't throw punches. He doesn't throw punches and punches. He don't, but he can. You know, he's, he's a 
counter puncher. Facts. Uh, yeah. Devastating yeah. counter puncher. Like I can hit the man. Uh, you know, six, seven, eight times when they're standing still, like a bat. I mean, yeah, George, that's, that's how you insta famous, probably. I'm, I'm giving George Girl as a point. That's a fact. He throws the the people that he's been throwing punches and bunches against is people that has been standing still. I'm giving Girl as a point for that. And when he finally got across a mover, which is fucking Billy Joe Saunders, he wasn't landing punches and bunches on Billy Joe Saunders like that. So basically, George Groff is saying, yes, you can land punches and bunches against a puncher, against a puncher back. A puncher back, I mean. George Groff ain't gonna be standing there at one spot. Ain't gonna be countering with devastating punches. You are fantastic. It's the famous. The fantastic short clips. On the bag, maybe on the well, bag. I don't want to underestimate what, you know, I mean, what they, are you saying? They look great. Yeah. If this goes off, you guys, go to part two. We're going to finish this shit. I could hit the man, uh, you know, six, seven, eight times. When they're standing still, like a bag, I mean, yeah. That's what I say, you're insta famous, probably. You are you, fantastic. It's the famous. The fantastic short clips. On the bag, maybe on the pads, on the body bag, you know, I mean, they, they look great, you know. I hit Adley Yildrum with about eight punches within two seconds. He stood still like a bag. Like, you're you're going to stand still too. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you're young, but you're a whole man in the game. You're, uh, you're not the fighter you used to be. And Ooh. He said, George Groves is not the fighter he used to be. What do we talk about, mentally or physically? That, I want... I want to give you a point, but I don't know if that's truly a fact. I mean, George Gross has been looking good lately. Facts. That's how he, he got in this position to fight you. But since I like the way you said it, I'm going to give you half a point on that. But I don't know if that's true or not. But maybe it could be some, some validation to it. That's why I'm giving him half a point. But... How man, George Groves been looking good lately, and then I'm gonna get. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give him a four point because George Groves looked like he he didn't take that very well. So I think he deserves a four point. George Groves still up in my opinion. Let's keep the train rolling. No, no. When 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 the going gets. Oh, so George Groves said he's better. I I might agree with that. So that's why I need to know what Chris Eubank talk about, physically or mentally. You're gonna sing now. You plant your feet. You plant your feet. And you swing, you don't lose. You don't stand still, you don't <laughs> Okay, George Girl said you're gonna sing now, and everybody started laughing. And the reason that I started laughing late because I didn't hear what George Girl said at first because you know George Girl have a he has an accent, so I had to really listen. And uh, no, it's not even that because he speaks English very good, but I just had to really listen to what he said, and I realized that he said, "So you're gonna sing now?" <laughs> Full point. <laughs> had everybody dying as you can see everybody had a smile on their face even your boy love when I hate one I got George Rose up four to two and a half okay well we'll see you're, you're, you know, you're young but you're a whole man in the game you're, uh, you're not the fighting you used to be and oh, when, well. when, when, when the going gets tough you're going to sing now. You plant your feet. See, that's another thing. I could give George Groves another point because he said the, the quick retaliation. He said, no, I'm better. You dig? You plant your feet and you swing. You don't do. So you will stand still. You will be there for me to tee off. You see, what it is, we can see what when... When there's something behind the punches, we can see when you're leaving openings behind the punches. We see when you need to go for a breathe and you disguise it well. But, you know, as I say, when you watch mm. me, maybe... Um... See, this is George Girls basically let him know, listen, I know your little tricks. I know when you're trying to dis be in discreet with them taking your breathers. George Girls is basically saying, I know the game better than you. I don't do myself justice. Maybe I don't look as quick as I actually am. Maybe my timing doesn't look as good as it actually is. And maybe my punch power is, you know, underrated. But, um... But that's the only thing we do have. See? I'm going to give George Groves a half a point on that one. Just for the sarcasm. Because George Groves has a lot of power. You know? And he's basically just being sarcastic. That's clearly. But not enough for me to give him a full point. I got George Groves up, clearly. But let's see what... 
Chris Eubank got the tape. It's the only thing that people give you credit for is the fact that you can hit it. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't that. That's why you got my mind. That's the one attribute. No, not only that. Speed, um, precision. Oh, he could move. But I'm not going to say all that. And George Girl's only problem really is his conditioning. You're, you're, you're pretty average. You don't have that much speed. You're, you're That's not true. Poor, and your stamina, in my opinion, is you know, average at best. Uh, and those attributes. That's real right there. I'm giving um, Chris Eubank a, a full point right there because he hit the nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, your stamina is average at best. That is perfect for George Groves. Uh, you know, the fact that you're lacking in those in those parts of boxing means you can't compete with me. And once that button's pushed on you, you do go to sleep. I did go to sleep. <laughs> I had to sleep. I've never been 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 to sleep. i I don't go to the floor. You, you crumble, and I'm gonna catch you. What, 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 what first did to you that took something out of you? I see it in your eyes. Maybe it did. I see it in your Maybe it did at the time, but I've been on a fantastic rebuilding phase. That's I'm real. Since I've been working. Which I'm gonna give him both, both the point for that because he said, you know, that Carl Frost fight took a whole lot of you, and then George Joe didn't lie about it. Respect, and he counted it well. He said, it probably did at the time, but I have done a lot better since then. You guys, that fight was like seven years ago, eight years ago. I mean, let's give George Groves a break for Christ's sake. With that being said, this is a good presser. Let's keep this train rolling. You have seen the improvements. If and you're, I if you're coming with Shane good. to help you get through this, you're in, you're in, you're in deep trouble. I'm using Shane. Shane's, Shane's, Shane's been kid. fantastic. Shane's a kid great coach. coach. Jake it's Shane, great to have, finally have a good coach in my corner, you know? I have to at this point because um, in my career, the reason why I was um, like I was running left me alone, Junior is left alone. I don't really train him. Ronnie doesn't really train him. He does it. It's actually inside him. I believe that, you know. Okay, I, I, so, I, 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 I um, think that's evident, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I don't, I don't, See, I don't, and I don't, he's I saying, I'm going to go ahead and give girls a point, but, you know, snapping on the dad as well. He's snapping on both guys, the dad and the son can get it. He said, I believe that. It's evident. Basically, the way he fights. You know, Chris Eubank is not a person with a whole lot of skill. He just has, he's very athletic, and he has a, he has a lot of power, and he's fucking fast as shit. Then because you're fast as shit, don't make you highly skillful. We've been through that before. And he's basically saying it's evident. It's obvious he's trained by himself. Like he's basically saying, you don't have to tell us that, Chris Eubank Sr. Uh, you know, it's that's obvious. One of the reasons why you need the arrogance and the, and, the, uh, and the the confidence to go into a fight and, and put on the performances that do. You seem to rely on your team. Your team is not going to be there taking those punches, George. No, I, I don't rely on my team to take punches. But That's a fact. Even though I'm get, I think Chris Eubank could have worded that a little better, I'm going to give him a little point on that one. Well, you know, he's just basically saying, you know, your team is not going to be there to take these punches for you. You know, kind of flipping on George Groves. He could have been a little slicker with it. He could have definitely been a little slicker, but he still flipped on George Groves. Basically saying your team is not going to be there to take punches for you. I'll give him a point for that. On them to give me the right instructions and prepare me for the fight. I don't, Which need, they I do, don't do. need instructions to be in George. I know, I know what you want. It doesn't matter what my brother said. It doesn't matter what my brother said. And then he said, I don't need instructions to beat you, George. Huh? Like basically, I don't need. What are you talking about this training shit? I don't need instructions. It sounds like he might slightly be overlooking George Groves. So that just adds to the point I just gave George, I mean Chris Eubank his point for. Keep the train rolling. I mean, I'm not seeing the 12th round. You're going to get so glorious. It's a pivotal point between he's Chris he's in Junior and Groves. That's what happened that. when, uh, when, when Carl Frosch knocked him out. People said that oh, he, he, he got Groves because his, his leg folded and he's on the floor. That's exactly what's going to happen in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pivotal point between 
Oh, uh, let's see. I'm giving Chris Eubank a full question. So He's done him that was funny. Favor, inadvertently by being addicted to the attention by <laughs> He said George Groves got Groves in a, in a car fight. <laughs> you know, Point. Talking about himself. But now all of a sudden, people actually bought into it. They believe that Junior is is the real deal. They think he's legit. He's got to step up and prove it. Has he outgrown his father? That's what I want to know. Has he, has he outgrown the dad? Seen the dad? Why? We don't know yet. Because you haven't boxed at the highest level. Okay, so how about I release the, the, the sparring footage I have? Oh, sick. Sparring footage. Release what you want. I bet you can get together some fantastic 10 second Insta clips. I, I, I'll, I'll, show the, I'll show the whole 8, 9, 10 rounds we used to do. The whole lot. He said, I bet you, I bet you get. George Rose said, I bet you can get some fantastic Insta clips. <laughs> Shut a whole lot. Um, oh, well, shit. Just, Insta yeah, clips. I'm trying to act like, you know, I'm, I'm some, I'm some, you know, stepping stone. I don't really like to talk about I'm, I'm Mount Everest, and you ain't going to climb me, trust me. Yeah, but, but you know, like I said, I'm not going to be stepping stone. I'm not a stepping stone, I'm a mountain, and you are not going to climb me. <laughs> I love the way I must be, can't be biased. I love the way he said that. He said you call it me a stepping stone, but I ain't no stepping stone. I'm a mountain, and you ain't gonna climb me. Got to give Banks a full point on that one. That was fly. All right, you guys, let's count this mess up. Even though it was much more to the press. Oh, you know what? I forgot about something. Forgot the face off. Before I give you guys my score, because that was a close one right there. I'm gonna do this shit. Man. Bear with me, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's crazy, yo. I actually have Chris Eubank winning that press conference by half a point. But... I would say it was a draw, or it could have went either way because that was wasn't the full forty minute one, just the best moments of the press conference. But you guys, I got Chris Eubank barely taking that one with that half a point. But it was the way he ended it. George Groves is winning clearly until he ended that. I gave him a full point the way he ended it. With um, I felt like that statement got overpowered when he said. He said, you're a step, George Rose said, you're a stepping stone. And Chris Eubank said, you are, he said, I'm not a stepping stone. I am a fucking mountain. Get it correctly. I thought that got him a full point before it went off. Now, my judgment, it, it was basically a draw, but I am not mad at you if you had George Rose winning. But I'm giving it to Chris Eubank by half a point, which means it was basically a fucking draw. You guys, I cannot wait to see this fight. All right, I am gone.